Good morning guys and welcome to my channel. I just want to show you guys a quick and easy cheap trick you can do to your off-road vehicle to make it a little bit tougher against the elements. So I went to Walmart and I picked up this can of roll-on bed liner. Now I tried to get the nicest stuff I could. This is the Herculiner roll-on bed liner. I did use that uh, Herculiner on my F350 flatbed which I use uh, primarily to run my um, beekeeping operation here in central Wisconsin. Uh, I do run over a hundred hives and, uh, and all my apiaries are off-road. So I do have to go off-road constantly with this vehicle uh, through, you know, tall grass, mud, um, sand, dirt, rocks to, uh, you know, get to my apiaries. Uh, of course, I do live in central Wisconsin where salt in the wintertime is kind of a uh, a fact of life so uh, I when I bought this truck it was pretty damn pristine um, the body wise um, this was a fertilizer truck um, they used to move fertilizer so I think I think they primarily use this to move uh, fertilizer around in the summer and then it just kind of sat all winters um, so when I bought this vehicle it was in really good shape I kind of wanted to preserve that and it does have like a textured um, coat is really nice and rough um, and it goes on nice and thick and it dries very quickly. Um, they do recommend you do two coats. So I did two coats on the truck. Like if you want to do it really nicely, you can tape it off with like painter's tape. The painter's tape will help you run your lines a little bit smoother, but because this is just a work truck, I, I didn't really care. So I just tried to paint it on as, as straight as I could. Today I plan on doing my Ram. It's a 2014 year Ram 2500 and you can see it's the rust is I've had this for a few years now and the rust is really starting to get to it especially in places where I've already chipped it the paint the rust is kind of starting to do its number on the truck I got some paint bubbling up right here around the wheel wells especially <clears throat> so I'm gonna do this truck today and I have enough of the Herculiner that I think I can do at least one really good coat because I have, I believe it's, there's, I only end up using half of it on the F-350. So I have another half a, a can. It's, it goes a long ways, which is fantastic. So I have another half a can. Um, I'm going to throw on the, uh, the Ram here. And then maybe film some of it and show you how that looks in the end here. Because I do take this vehicle off-road and do a little bit of overlanding with this vehicle. Um, I don't get crazy with it because... I don't really have the right suspension on this truck to be like just going crazy over rocks and stuff. So um, it's mainly just going off road and, and getting to campsites that uh, you normally can't get to.
Hey guys, so I got the first uh, round of sanding done. I did give it a quick wipe down. Um, I do plan on hitting it again with the sander. Um, I'm trying to get into all the spots that I can't get into uh, with the, the electric sander with the block, uh, like underneath the panels and stuff where I can't get. Um, it is gonna be st starting to rain here for a little bit, so I might take a break. Um, and it looks like it could rain for an hour or two, so maybe I'll take a break and I'll run to Walmart and get another gallon of that uh, Herculiner um, just to be on the safe side, just so I have enough to, to finish the truck. Um, I don't know if I'll finish it today, but I'll certainly give it a try. We'll see if the weather holds out. All right, so while it was raining, I was able to run to Walmart really quick and grab another box of this Herculiner, and it's kind of like a set. comes with the roller brushes, um, a paintbrush, the liner, uh, bed liner. So it's all roll on. Show you really quickly what it all comes with here. All right, so you got your instruction booklet, application. Comes with one of these little paintbrushes, although I did buy my own paintbrush because I don't really like these little dinky ones. Um, you got your Herculiner. And you got your little roll brush. It comes with an extra roller. I will say the whole set itself costs around $86 for me to buy. All right, so I went ahead and did a second sanding and I wiped everything down nice and dry. Uh, the next step is to go ahead and apply the bed liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my bed liner and start uh, putting it on. I probably only get one um, application on tonight and I'll have to finish it up and do a second one in the morning. So wish me luck. All right, so fair warning, if you do use this stuff and then reseal it, it is a pain in the butt to get off. So, and I do recommend wearing gloves because this stuff is messy. So I'm just using up what I have left from my 350. And if I need more, I'll open up the new thing. Hey guys, it's day two. Um, I was able to get one full application on last night. Uh, let me show you the results really quick. There's still a lot of spots underneath here I have to get to. I'll probably hit that with the brush today. For whatever reason, when I decided to do the gas cap here, it's like an off gray, kind of weird. Whereas everything else is nice and black, it's so I'll definitely hit this again. This one's a little off gray too. I wonder if it was it got pretty foggy last night. I wonder if the dampness affected it, but either way, it's getting a second coat today. Mm -hmm.
guys. It's been about three or four hours since I, my last coat on here. And it's feeling pretty good. I mean, maybe a little bit sticky in some of the areas where it's a little thicker. Um, so I'm going to let it thoroughly dry out before I take the tape off. Good morning, guys. Uh, it's day three. I got the tape all off. And it's looking pretty good. I got the two coats on yesterday. Matter of fact, I had enough to probably do a third coat. That one gallon of Herculiner did that 350 two times and did my RAM two times. So it went a long ways. So a couple of things I learned from doing this project is one, I'd probably use something other than that painter's tape uh, to do my lines on my truck. Um, it was pretty hard to get off. Um, and the other thing is that as you're using up your bed liner uh, to continuously mix it, because all this gritty stuff here, all this stuff kind of settles at the bottom and it gets really super thick and concentrated. <laughs> So I would say as you're, you're, you're applying your bed liner to your truck, just continue to mix it throughout the process. Anyways, thank you guys so much for sticking around this long. Uh, hopefully you got something out of the video. My next project is going to be working on the truck camper. Um, going to be tearing out all the rot and replacing the wood inside. So stick around if you want to see more DIY projects. And uh, hopefully get out and do some camping here soon. So, thanks a lot, guys.